my name is Linda, and I'll be conducting the Smart Response training today. More specifically, we're going to be reviewing and evaluating results. So the objectives of today's session is, by the end of this section, you'll be able to find result details in the Teacher Tools Gradebook. So when you're evaluating performance, and when educators are evaluating performance, they're looking at two things, or asking themselves two major questions, which are the first one is, was the assessment successful? Does that mean that, does the student know what, it need, what he or she needs to know? Do they have all the knowledge that we've, been, that we've given them? Or, and also, which students were successful? So do any students need added instruction, or do they need more help, or do we need to adjust the, the assessments in order for everyone to be successful? So in reviewing the gradebook results, today I'm going to show you four things. I'm going to show you how to sort gradebook results. I'm going to show you how to display the properties, performance, and results areas for a particular student. And I'm also going to show you how to display the properties, performance, results, and questions areas for a particular assessment. And we're also, the last thing we're going to do is we're going to, uh, I'm going to show you how to change an answer that you've already accepted as correct after the assessment results have been stored. All right, so let's get started. You have Ms. Karen T's uh, great, uh, great sample file on your desktop, so I'd like you to open it, and we'll open it together. So if you go to your Start button, we can click on that. We'll go to All Programs. We'll look at the Smart Technologies directory, and within that, we'll click on the Smart Tools, and we'll choose the Response Teacher Tools. And that should come up. We press OK. and that should appear on your taskbar below here. And lo and behold, we have Ms. T's gradebook. All right, so before we get started, there's two things that we really need to, to do before, before we can uh, review and uh, look at her Ms. T's gradebook, is we have to have the privacy feature off so that we can see all of the data that we need to see for today. And the other thing we have to make sure is that all of the classes are stopped. So let's take a look. How do we know that the class is on or off? We'll go to the side menu. Look, if we're in the gradebook. We click on Science 8A. The class hasn't started. That's a good thing. Science 8B, the class hasn't started, so we're good there as well. And in the anonymous mode, this class hasn't started either, so we're good. So now we can get started. OK, so let's get started on how to sort gradebook results. So let's pick a class. So we'll go to the side menu. We'll pick the Science 8A class. And I'm going to show you how to sort within this. So within, once you click on the Science 8A, we have three tabs up at the top. We have the Home, Students, and the Assessments tabs. And we're in the Home tab now. So if we pick, on the stu we pick the Students tabs, we'll see that there's five columns. And uh, these columns can be sorted quite easily. So at the top, you have a column header for each column, the student ID, last name, first name, and average. And by simply clicking on the column header, you will have that column sorted ascendingly or descendingly, depending on what you want. And you can do this for each and every column that you have. So last names, you can go by student IDs, and by averages, whatever you need to do. Now if we click on the assessments tab, we can do the same thing with the assessments. We can sort by title, by subject, topic, type of assessment, the date and time, and even the class average. So if I click on the class average here, I can have, see who did poorly and who did well very, at the click of a button. Pretty straightforward, pretty simple stuff. So now I'm going to show you how to display the properties, performance, and results for a particular student. So let's go back. So we picked a class. We've got 8A. We're in the assessments, which is not, not what we want to be. So let's pick let's pick students. Now let's pick a student. We'll pick Ms. Bloxham here. So you click on click on Ms. Bloxham, and the properties area shows up. It appears, and within the properties area, you have the properties button, the performance button, and the results button. So in the properties button right here, we have student ID, first name, last name. These are required fields. Very important that you complete those. And we also have the tags section box, if you want to call it, where you can identify or put specific information on that student. So in this case, they've only put female, but you can put anything you like, really. If we go to performance, we can see how well Ms. Bloxham is doing with respect to the rest of her class. 
So the blue line is her, and the class average is the red line. So she's doing pretty well, so it gives you a snapshot of her, of her performance so far. And in the results, we can see her performance across all of, the, all of the individual assessments. We can see how well she's done, and we can also sort these if we want. So it gives you other uh, flexibility. Okay, so that's showing you the properties and performance of a student. Now let's look at a particular assessment. I'm gonna show you the properties, performance, results, and questions of uh, a, a specific assessment. So we've picked a class, we've got eight A's on the side menu. We've got, we're in students now, we'll pick assessments, and let's pick a specific assessment. We're gonna look at plant studies. So let's look at the plant studies assessment that was done on March 21st. The properties area shows up. We have properties, performance, results, and questions. And so right now we're in the properties. There are two required fields. So the title and the type, make sure you fill those in. If we go to performance, we'll see, we have a quick snapshot of this particular assessment with respect to the performance of, the, of all of the students. So this assessment had 11 questions. I just click on it and I know exactly question one, how many people passed, failed, or skipped. And I can go to any, click on any one to figure out how well they did it. And it's easy, you can see it as well visually. So it's a nice, it's a nice snapshot of the performance on this particular assessment. In the results, now we have the specific results of the students and how well they did. And Again, using the sort feature, we can sort that very quickly to see who failed, who did, who had the, the highest marks, which is really quite nice. Again, another quick snapshot. In the questions section, uh, in the questions button, uh, we see, which is a really neat feature, we see every single question from for that particular assessment. And by clicking on a question, I see to the right there's three. There's a response column. There's occurrences, and there's correct. So by clicking on one on any question, you'll see the response to that question, you'll see how many times people chose it, and what exactly was the correct answer. So in this case, uh, the correct answer was D, which is a young plant is called a seedling, and 75% answered correctly. So it gives you a nice snapshot, and you can go to every question and see how well people did and didn't do. All right, now it's your turn. So pick up your clickers, and we're gonna, we're gonna put you to work and see, using Ms. T's gradebook, we're gonna go and see, try to find the answers as well. So, what was the most recent assessment completed by Science 8A class? So we have four answers, four potential answers. So the most recent assessment. So let's go see Ms. T's class. So the most recent assessment. Okay, let's look at the side menu. Okay, we are in 8A. We'll pick the assessment tab, and what was the most recent assessment? Let's look and see if we go to date and time, if we just press the sort button, the most recent one would be March 21st, which is the plant studies quiz. So if we go back, and that is exactly what it was. So the answer was C. Question two. How many students responded correctly to question three of the plant studies quiz in the Science 8B class? So let's go and see Ms. T's, T's class. We go to the side menu, we pick Science 8B, and it's not showing up. So I'm going to close this, and I'm going to reopen it. It's a bit temperamental, so we're going to go to the, the start menu. We're going to do smart technologies, smart tool, response teacher tool, and we're going to reopen that to get going again. And here we go. It's up and running. Okay, so we're in. So, question two, we pick science A B class. Oh, it's back. That's excellent. Okay, and we wanted to know. Let's go back to our question. Uh, how many responded correctly to question three of the plant studies quiz? So let's go to assessments, plant studies quiz, okay? And we're going to go to question, question three, okay? And if I, it's not responding, oh, I'm being, I'm not patient, I'm sorry. <laughs> Got to give it time to respond. So we have 80% answered correctly. Another way you can look at that is, by looking over here, question three, you can know that 25 people passed. So, again, same kind of you can get the you can get your answers two different ways. 
Okay, question three. What was indicated as the correct answer to question seven of the scientific investigation exam? So let's go, I'm going to assume that, uh, I'm going to assume that it's 8B, so we're going to pick the assessment uh, tab. We're going to go to the scientific investigation uh, assessment. And the question was, uh, what was the correct answer? All right, so let's go to questions. So we've got, oops, sorry, wait a minute. Oh yeah, we're in there. Okay, so we're going to go to questions. Okay, we're going to go to the questions again, and we're going to go to seven. And the correct response was B, according to according to the the uh, questions results in the correct answer that was listed there. All right. Now, question four relates to the same thing. Now, we're going to change the answer because we're going to change the answer to question seven. So we're going to go back here. Again, we're in 8B, we've, got, we've clicked our assessments tab, we've clicked our scientific investigation, we've clicked on question seven, and the answer is question, the correct answer according to this is B. So what we, someone said, okay, after the assessment, perhaps the student can, you know, they gave a good, uh, a good argument, and we're gonna make question A as well be this, a correct answer. So we've got A and B. Now if you look at the response to the scientific investigation, it's 67%, and if I change that, if I add another correct, so I've added three people, my average goes up. So this does automatically affect that. And that is the end of my presentation. I'd like to thank you for your attention, and I hope this was, will make you a, a more successful teacher.